Good morning, morning, almost good afternoon to all of you. I want to say how happy I am to be here with you again on another Saturday. These marches are worth it. So I want to empower you, the people of Barbados, to continue standing up for your rights. We have despots and dictators taking our every right from us. They are after our elderly. They are after our children. And now they are after the mothers of our children. What will you say when they come for you next? So I am encouraging you all to continue standing for each other. As we have to practice the saying to be our brother's keeper in Barbados. We have a set of despots who are looking out for each other, raising the members of parliament paid three times since they came to office. Once upon a time you'd have had a union leader out here with us. No, she's sold out. And she's in there negotiating salary raises for herself. She's in there negotiating allowance raises for her MPs. How right our fear is that in Barbados? Where people who are seeking preeminence can join a union and to join with a then opposition leader to sell out the workers of Barbados and still be allowed to draw two salaries while negotiating others for her friends. We have a Minister of Labour, Colin Jordan, who was used as a scapegoat, allowed himself to be sent out there like a lamb to slaughter, knowing that the NAS has nothing to do with him. It has to do with the IMF. The same government that said that they were not sure if you were going to the IMF. The same government that within a couple of days signed us all to White Oaks, overpaying White Oaks for fees. $54 million to two men in the back room. Ask yourselves who received the kickbacks. You don't need to be elected anymore in Barbados to make a killing. Look at all of the consultants. $22 million worth of consultants. And what are we getting in return? Nothing. Nothing. They knocked down an entire building, the NAS building, old NAS building, from this site to build a park. That park is a collaboration with the Impending Hyatt Hotel. The same land that they took away from Miss Ram, and then they passed a bill in Parliament called the Debt Settlement Bill. And this Debt Settlement Bill says that if we take your land, or if the government has any legal compensation for you, or if you have any medical injuries, they will pay you in bonds. So you are being robbed, my people. What did they do to the bonds in this country in 2018? They wrote off four billion dollars of taxpayers' money. Four billion dollars is split of a penny. On our whistle with oaks. They robbed the person's franchise with bills. That has never happened in the world besides in Russia. That has never happened in the world besides in Uruguay. So Barbados is up there making history, but not in a positive light. So when we have wanna be masters traveling all over the world on the private jet of a man, they say that they were gonna lock up in Barbados, but now they are traveling on his private jet all over the world. Can somebody tell us how much money he has made from travel out to the office of Prime Minister in this country? Clay Maskell can say that a sewage tax made 80 million dollars a month. How many of y'all are not connected to the sewage? But we still have to pay 80 million dollars a month. And the wicked thing they did was to stop that tax from coming into the consolidated fund and it's going directly to the water authority and supposedly straight to the sanitation at the sanitation how much money did that switch that they received so far they received none so where is the money for the sanitation the general manager 
of the World Authority reporting that after all of these months, all of these years, that the sewage tax would have only made three hundred and forty-four million dollars. What happened to the other three point six billion dollars, sir? Eighty million dollars a month. For too long, the tax of this country continues to be fleeced by persons who purport to care. They do care when you wrote off taxes for the private sector, which included one of your most prominent family members. Why did it throw right off student loans? Why did it throw right off water bills? Why did it throw right off income tax the rent? But you know what? Poor people benefit from these things, so you have to work them off. The corporation tax in Barbados is at 5%. How much income tax do you pay in this country? We have people pay upwards of 40% in income tax, but corporations pay fully. All the types of taxes they put on pays, they pay $350 million upwards of tax they put on the backs of Barbados, all in the name of an IMF program. The leader of this country came to the public in a press conference and said to us, we are going back into another IMF program. This is after they denied it. When asked by a reporter if the second IMF program has anything to do with pension reform, she said no. Colin Jordan and the others, when they were asked, does this pension reform have anything to do with the IMF program? They said no. What they let the hand say? He said yes. Chevy Greenish. He also said, Ben Quiz, that the IMF has nothing to do with pensions and, and Barbados. And the IMF will never instruct Barbados to change its pension system. He said that. So why are we over here? So my people, I am saying to you, they continue to lie to us. They continue to deceive us. Young black boys in this country being shot down, murdered in cold blood. And we are appointed a minister for crime. But people are still being shot down. What is the role of the most incompetent attorney general we've ever had? Who stood up on this piece of land right here on my right? And try to justify the appointment of two deputy commissioners of police. You know, only provided for one. But they stood up right here. The Attorney General, the Prime Minister, a couple other ministers, along with the man that he cursed all over Barbados and said that he was the billionaire boy and he received all of these contracts from government. And if you had to get him, that would change. But when you got him, look what you did. You robbed Miss Ram. Never ever in the world let I hear a government taking away somebody's property on behalf of a private developer. We have a rogue government, and the only remedy to fix this rogue government is to remove them from office. And we really need to chase those crazy boys out of town. Power to the people! And let us chase those crazy boys out of town. You want to see us again? You want to do it again? You want to do it again? The people have spoken.